for this problem, we have a space shuttle releases a satellite into circular orbit 650 kilometers above the Earth. How fast must the shuttle be moving when the release occurs? All right, so we can figure out what the radius is that we need, which is going to be the height of the satellite plus the radius of the Earth. So we have R equals 650 plus 6380, which is 70, 30 kilometers. Then what we're going to do is we're just going to set up the equation where we have net force is equal to m d squared over r, where the force, only force acting is the force of um, attraction. So we get g m1 m2 over r squared equals m1 v squared over r. We can cancel an r in the m1, and we can solve for the for the velocity, which is equal to the square root of g m2 over r, where m2 is the mass of the earth, and r is the radius that we just determined. So if we plug in the values we know, 6.67 times 10 to the negative 11th times 5.98 times 10 to the 24th divided by 70, 30 times 10 to the 3rd, we get a velocity of 7532 meters per second.